Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4 and today you are being briefed on SCP-046. Let's begin. Item number SCP-046, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. The land surrounding SCP-046 has been purchased and surrounded by multiple layers of security, including fencing, barricades, and lethal effect traps. Multiple signs marking the area as private property are to be prominently displayed. The area is to be heavily guarded at all times to prevent access by civilians to SCP-046. All personnel working around or within a 50km radius of SCP-046 are to undergo rigorous medical testing to ensure the absence of any potentially life-threatening illnesses. Additionally, Increased mental health examinations are to be administered to ensure that no personnel inclined or potentially inclined towards self-harm or self-destructive tendencies are allowed within the 50km radius. Any injured personnel are to be evacuated to a hospital outside of the 50km zone around SCP-046. All vegetation surrounding SCP-046 is to be destroyed and all animals attempting to access SCP-046 are to be terminated and destroyed before reaching its outer perimeter. Any personnel showing unusual interest in either SCP-046 or in traveling to the region near SCP-046 are to undergo medical examinations as detailed above. Any modification to these containment procedures are to be approved by O5 Command before being added to this containment document. Any personnel attempting to modify this document without appropriate authorization are to be demoted and reassigned. Description: SCP-046 is a predatory botanical mass located in southwestern Kentucky. SCP-046 is composed of two parts. SCP-046 TAC-1 is a large mass of vegetative matter composed largely of plants indigenous to the region, including Quercus alba, Ilex aquifolium, and Lonicera sempervirens, though several offshoots composed of other plant species are also present. SCP-046 TAC-2 is the land in the immediate vicinity of SCP-046 TAC-1, extending to a roughly circular area 20 meters in radius from its base. This area is SCP-046's primary feeding area. SCP-046 is capable of attracting prey within a 50km radius through hallucinogenic means. All evacuations of personnel should carry them outside of this radius to disable SCP-046's effect. Animals, including humans, suffering from potentially life-threatening physical injuries or diseases, or who are afflicted by psychological disorders that induce self-destructive tendencies, feel a powerful compulsion to come to SCP-046 TAC-2 and lie in a prostrate position facing SCP-046 TAC-1. Individuals lying in such a position are rapidly attacked by an unusually powerful combination of saprophytic organisms and opportunistic infections, including several strains of methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus MRSA, known to induce necroticizing fasciitis, also known as flesh-eating bacteria, a form of fungal spore similar to Stachybotrys chartarum, or black mold, which poisons prey organisms and induces paralysis, and finally, complete consumption by several heretofore unknown species of insect that emerge from the inside of SCP-046 TAC-1 during the final stage of feeding. SCP-046 appears to derive nutrition through the complete digestion of affected individuals, particularly larger mammals such as humans. It is unknown whether SCP-046 is capable of growth, as such all steps are to be taken to ensure that SCP-046 is deprived of prey until more information is known about its abilities. These efforts are to include terminating individuals prior to their arrival at SCP-046 and disposing of their bodies in a separate location. Addendum 046-TAC-Alpha Investigation is ongoing into potential mimetic effects brought about by knowledge of SCP-046 due to anomalous effects demonstrated by certain personnel in response to SCP-046. Access to document 046-TAC-07 is restricted to level 4 personnel and above. This is document 046-TAC-07. Let's go ahead and give it a read. Item number SCP-046, object class, safe, special containment procedures. 
The land surrounding SCP-046 is to be cordoned off, marked as private property, and surrounded by multiple layers of fencing. The area is to be guarded by no less than 10 guards, though minimal armaments are required. While knowledge of SCP-046's effects is not to be made widely known, personnel afflicted with life-threatening diseases may be permitted to enter SCP-046 TAC-2 after psychological screening for self-destructive tendencies. Likewise, D-Class personnel selected for termination may be effectively exposed to SCP-046 TAC-2 to facilitate this process. Due to the lack of threat to Foundation security, individuals not employed by the Foundation may be permitted access to SCP-046, though Foundation needs for access take first priority. Description: SCP-046 is composed of two parts. SCP-046 TAC-1 is a cylindrical area 5 meters in diameter and 30 meters tall containing several species of plant matter, including Quercus alba, white oak, Ilex aquifolium, European holly bush, and Lanacera sempervirens, Kentucky honeysuckle, though several offshoots composed of other plant species are also present. No anomalous traits have been detected in the molecular composition of the plants. SCP-046 TAC-2 is a clearing of grass extending approximately 20 meters around SCP-046 TAC-1. SCP-046 is anomalous effects extend principally to animals, including humans, that are threatened by chronic or debilitating illnesses or injuries. SCP-046 is frequently visited by such individuals. Humans of this type report having felt a compulsion to travel to SCP-046's location, often reporting that the location came to them in a dream. Psychological evaluations have consistently shown that such individuals were not previously aware of either the Foundation or SCP-046's specific properties. Individuals feeling this compulsion have all reported having been within a 50km radius of SCP-046 at the time. This is believed to be the outer range of the object's compulsive range. Individuals who come to SCP-046 consistently describe a dream in which they lie down in the vicinity of SCP-046 TAC-1 and rest. Immediately upon entering SCP-046 TAC-2, individuals suffering from chronic pain or traumatic mental conditions will describe their symptoms as receding, accompanied by a feeling of calmness, relaxation, and euphoria. Individuals lying down in front of SCP-046 TAC-1 will begin to be covered by several vines similar to runners of Cynodon dactylin plants, also known as Bermuda grass, followed by the apparent sprouting of C. dactylin all over the body. SCP-046 has no compulsive properties and its effects will only manifest on individuals willing to experience the effects voluntarily. Individuals exposed to SCP-046 will remain communicative until they are no longer visible beneath the grass growing across their bodies. All individuals exposed to SCP-046's effects describe a feeling of peace and serenity and a happiness that they were able to die pleasantly. SCP-046 appears to fully decompose individuals exposed to its effects within two hours and may or may not use decomposed tissue as a food source. Addendum 046-TAC-1, SCP-046 to be reclassified as Euclid and primary containment document to be rewritten to demonstrate SCP-046's predatory nature by order of O5 command. Any references to voluntary individuals are to be removed. Description to be rewritten to emphasize volatile and lethal nature of SCP-046 and potential threat thereof. Addendum 046-TAC-2, there is no evidence whatsoever that 046 is predatory or has any desire to harm any creature unwilling to expose itself to SCP-046's effects. Suggest original containment procedures be reenacted and voluntary access to SCP-046 continued. No individuals are capable of breaching Foundation security once exposed to SCP-046. As such, there is no reason to deny afflicted individuals the opportunity for relief. Likewise, there is no reason to make this entity seem more hostile than it actually is, aside from a desire to portray every object in Foundation custody as dangerous. Some things must be contained simply because they are strange. Dr. Edward Carter, head researcher, SCP-046. Addendum 046-TAC-3, Dr. Carter, principal researcher for SCP-046, is to be removed from his position and reassigned to the SCP-1250 project. Addendum 046-TAC-1 stands by order of 05 command. 
And that concludes your briefing on SCP-046. I know, us O5s move in mysterious ways, but you have to trust us on this one. If anything changes, let us know, and we will let you know if anything will change in this document. Remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they may live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.